Yo people, welcome back to the J Tiro channel. <laughs> As you guys can see on the screen we've got Wave 4 5 and we just played our foot champs. I played all my games on a Friday for once in FIFA history. And we done quite well, we actually did quite well which we're going to get into in a minute but we managed to get rank 5 this weekend. I stopped at 11 wins on the Wave 4 5 channel, because, on the Wave 5 4 account because I felt like the team is not strong enough to be pushing for 14, 16 yet, so I was just like, you know what? Let me stick to 40. Let me stick to 11 and just do what I can do. Plus, I had some stuff. I had some errors to run today. As some of you know, I'm a football coach, so that was a priority today. But I kind of had to get my games done and just kind of head out quick. But we had a good, we had a good weekend, and we're gonna get into the gameplay now. And hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I am gonna post, come record over it, so you're gonna hear me talking about how the weekend went and all that stuff. So let's get into the gameplay. Guys, before we actually get into any gameplay straight away, I'm going to show you guys the custom tactics I used this weekend to help me get 11 wins. They can help you get further. I've seen people get 20 and over these tactics. Me, myself, I think I could get uh, a lot higher with these tactics myself. So if you do want to, pause the video as, as it does go across and you can see the tactics I use. My center mids pretty much all just stay back. So two of my center mids kind of bomb forward. One of them kind of just sits, which is the middle centre mid, he just kind of sweeps everything up. My left mid, my left forward does drop back and defend, so it is more like a 4-4-2 in-game. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to fast forward this ahead so you guys can kind of see the tactics a bit more in depth. As you can see, it's going ahead quicker now. So, balanced defensive style, 35 width, 65 depth. Uh, we keep the corners the same, we take the free kicks down to 1. I reduce the amount of players in the box. Instructions. Striker will just stay central, getting behind. Right forward will always stay up. So my middle striker kind of drops in to be like a bit of a false nine at times. Uh, as I said, left mid, he will come back. On he'll no left forward will kind of come back. So your right centre mid, I always make my right centre mid uh, cover the wing. So it's like a four four two in game when I'm defending. So it's like I've got two banks of four. And then as soon as I break out into the attack, left mid joins the attack and then both my right and left centre mid kind of like push forward just a little bit. I didn't really want to put too many instructions on them, so I literally just, yeah, this is what I pretty much done. Balance attack, just cover wing for Bruno and then my full backs, I think my left back, my left back joins the attack, my right back stays back and stuff like that. So you're actually just gonna see that's the tactic complete in full. You guys can now have a butcher butchers at those tactics yourself. So pause pause the clip and just go through and see what and see. So just pause the clip and find out what you would like to do with your tactics. And or if you want to use these tactics, just pause the clip and you'll see it there. So we're gonna get into the first game. This guy actually had a decent squad. It was a nice little Bundesliga La Liga mix. Um and yeah, we started off the game quite strong. I was getting chances, I was attacking well, and then we got a bit of luck here actually from this corner. I do remember myself in the stream. I saw this happen and I was just like, you know what? I'm not complaining because this weekend a whole bag of rubbishness happened to against me. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try my hardest to just not complain this weekend when it comes to FIFA. Uh moving on again start of another game so he started the same game i went through there with liao tried to go past the keeper with my skill mover nothing seemed to kill and the skill just didn't come off i don't know why it didn't come off but i just moved on from it and charged it got through again nice bit of build up play here rashford through on goal two nil he pauses it and you guys know what's coming straight away um we go into our second game here. I think this was actually one of my hardest. This was like the hardest team I faced all weekend. Yeah, so we had like Courtois in goal, a mad back five, player of the month Messi, Harlan and Ronaldo up front. But it was so funny because playing against this guy, like for 30 minutes, it was just pure domination for me. I had so many chances of getting forward. He didn't have a sniff due to my tactics. Like it was so funny. He wasn't having a sniff at all in the game. I wasn't. He wasn't creating nothing. He couldn't get through my my midfield four. It was so tough for him just to like kind of even break the line of a pass. Corner whipped in here. Just just missed it with Rio. Rio's been so good for me from corners. Rio Ferdinand and Joe Gomez, honestly, that's like literally one of the best partnerships I've ever used this FIFA. Better than Kim Pembe and Marquinhos last year. 
like it was so good just to use them to finally get through here with Salah just take our time shoot it in the post and we get the first goal of the game as you guys can see at half time I literally peppered him he had two shots 0.8 expected goals I had 2.8 expected goals more passes more tackles it just made more sense for me to be in the lead and then second half I think second half we kind of just killed it off made it impossible for him to attack look straight away Tonali breaking up play and literally nice bit of build up here Bruno goes through shot gets saved and we, head, and we follow up with the header in make it 2-0 he pauses it and I can't lie with the team he had the quality wasn't there the ability everything else was not there from him he had a good squad but it's like a lot of people this year have good squad because it's easy to make coins it's easy to uh, farm packs and fodder and whatnot. so it's like it's just easy for everyone to have a super OP squad now this game I don't think I've ever played against a more overpowered goalkeeper Yashin might be the most broken goalkeeper this FIFA. Yashin is fake, guys. Yashin is absolutely fake. I had six shots in the first half, 2.3 expected goals. Five of the shots that I took in the first half were saved by Yashin, guys. And you're actually going to see at the end the stat because it's ridiculous. My head was spun from it. Like, I was so annoyed. I couldn't believe it. I was thinking, how the hell has this keeper managed to just save 90% of my shots? But I'm still peppering the guy. Like he could, like I was still peppering him. Like you're gonna see here. I think I had about like six corners back to back. Like that's one. Like straight away. I don't know how he's got so low and saved that. And then again, corner whipped in. He, this guy couldn't deal with my tactic. He didn't even try, try to bring his keeper or anything. He literally just let me cross it in every single time. Inside foot curled look again like it's not a great head up but the fact he just saved it and plucked it out of the air like that like a lot of keepers are spilling it knocking it over the bar and whatnot but yeah i literally had this guy on toast i had him on toast won the ball back here at benesair played it into rashford liao couldn't get through but look win it again it was just so easy for me to win the ball so high up the pitch in this game like you lot are seeing it here. The tactics actually work because my midfielders are just pressing the ball, winning the ball so high, and it makes it it just makes it impossible for you to do anything. We finally get our headed goal with Rio after like the sixth attempt. But it was just crazy how many chances I had in the game, how many chances the keeper was saving. It's like it just didn't make any sense to me. But we finally get the little flick of Rio off the skinhead off the noggin right into the back of the net that's actually a great header to be honest because it's the ball's coming across and he's like literally flicked it on here another corner look now like, i know you could say it's point blank but at the same time it's like how many saves and then here tried to make something up happen with salah got tackled but just watch again look tonali that's my defensive minded midfielder just winning the ball like that and then we get the rebound goal here with salah but yeah, the depth in this game, the depth was so important because my midfield step up so high and we're able to just win the ball constantly. I was in stream trying to go and find out what Yashin's stats were in this game. And the fact that he's only at a 7.0, yeah? Look. Look at that. Look at that. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? 21 shots against, 19 on target, 15 saves. 15 saves four goals conceded so i had i had 21 shots 19 of them that were on target he saved four he saved four of the shots that were on target sorry four of the shots that were on target he didn't save the other 15 he saved it was ridiculous i couldn't believe it and if you look at the saves here a lot of them are going across the goal to that corner a few in the middle a few on the left hand side but boy i couldn't believe it like some of them were double saves as well like i was getting mad in the game i was i almost screamed my head off in the stream like i couldn't believe it and then i showed this to um ag his link will be in the description as well make sure you guys follow him on his twitch and subscribe to his youtube channel he's almost at 500 subs it'd be amazing if you look get him to 500 subs man what a guy man what a human being and yeah man i showed him that little screenshot and he was like what the hell is that bruv like he was like how he's seen some mad keepers this FIFA, but it's like he's never seen anything that mad. This game here, we went one up and I was pretty much dominating the game. And one counter attack opportunity, my centre just couldn't catch him. 
And then yeah, he managed to take it and score, but straight away we just got on the ball from the kickoff. I think I scored from this kickoff as well. But yeah. This weekend I noticed with that formation I was using the 4 3 2 1, it was just so overpowered, it was so it was hard to kind of deal with because my midfielders I feel like I had the perfect balance of midfielders on this account than I do on my main account. If you lot have seen me on my main account, my midfield three is peak. But the balance here just kind of made more sense. What a goal from Salah, by the way. But it made more sense. I had Benacer, Bruno, and Tonali. Tonali's a DM anyway, so he'll just win the ball. Bruno's got high, high work rates. Benacer's got high medium. But at the end of the day, he's still got good defensive traits. I can get forward and get involved in some goals, which is quite good. Here, I don't know what happened, but we got the goal. <laughs> got the goal, made it 3-1. But yeah, we were cruising this weekend, man. It was fun. I think... At one point, I was 7-3, and three, and then I came home from coaching, finished the rest of my games, and I went like 11-3. and three. I think I finished, yeah, I, fin I finished with 11 wins, 3 losses, I think. Oh, no, 11-5, and five, sorry. So, yeah, 11 wins, 5 losses, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there, because, like, 14 is very possible, but it's like I still wanted to get my main account games um, out of the way as well, which I was, I was more focused on trying to get high wins on my main account, with, um, which you'll see in tomorrow's video. But yeah, we got we got some decent wins today. But let's get into our rewards now and see how and see what EA gave us today. So there we have it. Yeah, rank five rewards, three picks, three packs. Um, our rewards were actually okay. I think our rewards were better on this account than they were on the main account, which was actually shocking. I was very very surprised by that. But yeah, look, got two around in our first pick. And then our second two picks. I don't think there was anything crazy. I think we got that Ronaldo, the Ren Ronaldo, however you say his name. The Atletico Madrid uh, left back. I think he can play centre back as well, which is quite mad. But yeah, we got him in our packs. So these are the three packs we got. The 50k pack didn't really give us much. I think he gave us a board. I think it was Royce. If I'm not incorrect. Yeah, we got Marco Royce in this pack. And then in our our second pack, the 100k pack did not disappoint, boy. Sorry, the 125k pack did not disappoint. Ultimate pack, Kmart clutch, Portuguese flag, centre back, Ruben Diaz. But that is not all. That is not all the pack had to offer. We see a young Koulibaly in there and also a Furlan Mendy. If you've seen my TikTok already, you see that I screamed in the stream when I packed him. Because, one, he's a good, he could either be a good addition or we could just make some coins off of him. And then literally just boost the team and improve uh, the squad. Gonna make some big upgrades to the team now, which you guys should see in the next episode. We also packed uh, a walkout in form as well. I think it was Vlahovic we got, but yeah, so rewards were actually not too bad for us this weekend. The rewards, the rewards weren't bad. They gave us some. They gave us some decent stuff. Nice free in forms to get. So, like I said guys, gonna try and make some decent informs and decent upgrades with what we have. The backline most likely will stay the same, I'll probably make some changes in the midfield and maybe alter the formation, change it. I did pack a Vinicius Jr. untradeable from a objectives pack, but it's kind of hard to fit him into the team, especially when Liao is the main man of the series. So we'll figure out a way to kind of incorporate different players and other players into the squad but that is all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button again leave a comment down below on what you've been using this fifa what you got in your foot champs this weekend and do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel i'll see you on the next episode of wave 45